JJ is this powerhouse of a, uh, he writes these anthems, like these strong, like I, I was telling him yesterday too, he has this way of, he, he delivers, like he's almost like working a piece of wood like this in the song. Two, three chords, very basic, just goes through it. And he grinds a line, grinds a line, grinds a line, like this. And you see the audience, they soak up a line, soak up two, three, four. And he gets to the chorus, and it's this anthem, brighter days, or whatever it is, the thing. And by then, they all understand what he's saying, because he is. So his craft is like that, very, and it gets so clear and so like, yes. If you slow your life down by paying attention, you'll be more creative, you'll be more everything. The fact is that uh, for the longest time, I was a dog chasing my tail, and I thought that's what it took to get things done. In fact, it's, it's the very thing keeping you from getting anything done. And um, I decided to make all this easy. I felt the wind blowing. I felt the rain come down. This is the seventh album, and it's um, the seventh one I've recorded here at Retrophonics. For me, it's like a vacation. I get to go surfing in the mornings and then uh, get to clown around in the studio with my boys, just hang out and jam, do stuff, and uh, work on music and um, or, or play around with music. It don't feel like work. Playing with these guys, man, you can do anything. You know? All the guys have different musical tastes and uh, all of it shows up. It's just easy. I just have an ear to ear grant. I can't even believe it's happening half the time. So basically found that sound within the first few hours of just being there and then we were able to start just tracking and just knocked it out and it was just um, a real nice, you know, cool organic situation that happened. It was pretty rad. favorite is Old Glory itself, because what a performance, man. That, those vocals are insane. And in case you don't know, JJ has the ability to write a song on the spot. And some of these songs you're hearing in the moment of creation, and Old Glory is that. I mean, he was writing those lyrics in the zone, in the moment, in his place, doing his thing, and that's what you're hearing. And, and that's, it's rare to really hear that on a record in this day and age. And I know he's in his underwear. You know his ball's flying. <laughs> Just like, Glory! <laughs> Love that song. The title for this record is Old Glory, and um, at my grandmother's funeral, my aunt and uncle were singing I'll Fly Away, and one of my relatives hollered out Old Glory, and I was like, okay, it makes sense. It's easy to ask an artist for an easy answer to what the meaning is of any particular song, but I kind of like the idea that songs belong to the listener, and they don't really, no matter how literal, really belong to the songwriter. I could tell you vaguely what any of the songs are about, but I don't, I don't really like to get into too much detail. I, I like people to have their own idea about what tunes are about. It, to me, it's like narrating a movie, you know? It's like, you know what, I'm just gonna let people watch the movie and enjoy it. J.J. Gray uh, is one of the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. Uh, that's off the stage. I grew up in a Catholic church, so I never really got witness to like tent revivals or anything like that. And and what I've witnessed JJ do to audiences, that's what I liken it to. He's he's making people jump out of their seats and and do everything in their power to jump out of their skin. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Silent is my home
It's difficult to describe what's changed in JJ's music since the very beginning. You know, he's always had a real unique ability to communicate certain things that are universal. And I think there's themes like home, belonging to a place, or watching the place you belong to change. I think that's a real universal experience, and he's been sort of cataloging that for his own life. Kind of that, like, there's a really good zone here. You know, I can do another take if you want. Yeah. I tried so hard to be the person everybody thought I was. I've, I figured out why I do it. It's just part of my story and it, it just takes time for it all to unfold so as it as it as it unfolds i get to uh i get to live it live my own movie and that's that's what this is you know it's a movie man Loving every minute.